this is what we're going to be building. Um, it looks kind of complex. It's it's really not. It's actually quite simple. There's not a whole lot actually going on. It just looks like it, but it's not. So let's go over here so I can still see what I'm doing so I'm not too far away. Because otherwise I'll mess up and mess you guys up and then we'll never get anywhere. And I don't want that to happen. So first we want a row of 11. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, and 11. And then you want another row behind that, but shift it over. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. And then this last one actually has to be 12. So it's going to be in the same spot, starting out the same spot, but then it'll end there. So it looks like that. And then next you just want to put a block on top of that. That's kind of by itself. The one that sticks out, you put a block on top of that. Then you skip this one. And then you put a whole nother row along here. And then you want to go over, get a redstone torch, put it in there. So it's hanging off of that block. And then you want to put redstone torches on top of all of these. I'm going to go over to your repeater. And you want to put them all in facing these blocks on the third tick. So one. Two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. Alright, almost messed up there. And then you want to put redstone behind all of them, just to make sure they're all connected. And then you want to come over here, turn around, put this one in this way so that it turns on. And then you want a sticky piston facing up. That should activate automatically. Um, you want to create like a little backwards L right here. And then just so that that's there for the next step. So we don't want to miss that. Put a block on top of the piston. And then come back over here. You want to put a block on top of each torch. Or just put one on top of the torch and then kind of connect them all to each other from the side. That's how you'd rather do things. Because that's fine too. Um, then you want to put torches off of that second row. And put another row on top of those torches. And then I believe this step is more of just for a cosmetics look. You can just fill this in. It'll make it easier to like uh, cover everything up then after you've finished building everything. Now you want to take a sticky piston, put it basically above the redstone so it looks like that, so these torches, when they turn on, they'll activate those. Um, so you put them all in here, and actually I just realized those probably wouldn't do the activating, it would probably be these reds this redstone down here. Um, Anyway, I'm probably wrong still, but we put another set of pistons on top facing upwards. And then you want to take another row, put it behind the first set of pistons, push this all the way down and around to there, and then put redstone all the way down here, over here, put a redstone repeater on the second tick, right there, put another one, another block there, and more redstone on top of that, and it should look like it's connecting. If it's not, make sure there are torches there and that you have this in the right spot. Um, so now you pretty much have the whole lower half completed already. So, congratulations. Um, now we're just gonna skip the... Actually, no, I'll do that now. So I'll just get rid of the sticky pistons, pull on my gravel. Also, when I set everything up, I put two gravel in. Not sure why I did that. But you want to put two layers of gravel in. Also, I realize my sound might be a little loud. Um, let me just lower that in general because that's probably kind of loud 
Um, you probably can't hear me very well. Okay, that should be better. Still sounds a little loud, but... Alright, next... You want to... Create the tower. So you're going to end up with a total of eight torches and seven blocks going up in this tower. But before I do that, I'm turning my music down even lower because it's starting to annoy me as well. And I'm sure it's annoying you. And I would just turn it off, but I still like having some sound. So there's the first torch, first block, second torch, second block. Alright, so there, I have my 8th torch on there, so I have a nice big tower here. Okay, so I just realized, I think I put too many in. Alright, so I have my 8th torch on. And now what I want to do is, I'm just going to switch to a different block so that you guys can still see what I'm doing. I'm going to create like a little bit of like a C here. And this is basically just going to go all the way over. So when you look straight down, it'll end up uh, kind of like surrounding this gravel. So like if you were here and you jump down, a good way to test that is if you land on that last piece of gravel, you know you're in the right spot. So now that I have that, I'm going to go over here to the third block away from that tower, put one there, and then one there, up, remove that one because you don't need it, um, that'll, it doesn't really matter if you have that there, I don't think, or anyway, but I just like to take it out. Now you put redstone dust there, and all the way down there which these are going to power the upper half, which is actually going to do the opening, uh, or the closing of the gate, sorry. The opening of the gate's actually going to take place down there. You'll see what I mean once I get this done. When I get this done, you can see it in action. So, now you, want, you have that pretty much done already. I'm just going to do this part. This could be done later, this can be done now. I'll just show it to you now. So you put a repeater there. And that stays on the first tick. And then you want to put a comparator right behind it. And then I'm going to show you the second half of the upper half. So you put one there, uh, that, and leave that open. I'm not sure if it helps or not, but it doesn't show to fill that in. So I leave it open. And then that, and then you actually complete that one too. So basically you could just build on top of that redstone. I wasn't really thinking. But anyway, build on top of pretty much all the redstone. So you just kind of end up with a second layer, sort of. And when you get to the end, you actually just want to build right on top of those. So it's like a step down. And then you also want to put redstone on top of all of that as well. So now you pretty much have all of the redstone work done. Now I'm just going to go over here. Looks like now I'll just put these in. So I can show you that. So you want to put all of these pistons in facing downward on that upper part. Once you do that, you want to do it again so that you end up with a second row of pistons. So now that will actually close your gate once you pull the lever. And you can set up as many levers as you want really. I'll show you that as well. Um, now that you have that, we'll go back over here. I'll switch these out. So you're also going to need a hopper and a dropper. So you want to put the dropper right there off of that first block. And then a hopper will go if I could actually land up here. And then you have to shift, get it so it's inside the hopper. So you want it to go back into the hopper. And then you want to fill the dropper with a full stack of really anything. I'm just using redstone. It doesn't matter. Um, 
so now, rip. Okay, well, I missed that. Oh, there it is. I'll just grab it. Alright, now you want to make a six block down, like a, I don't even know what this would be. It's just kind of a thing. It's the gate, really. But it goes down six, and then all the way over here. And... Okay, so once you get that done, it'll look like that, and I believe I have everything in correctly. Let me just double check, because if you miss any part, it'll complete. It, it just won't work, and you'll pretty much have to start over because sometimes it's hard to find the right spot. Just make sure I have a stack of stuff in there. Okay, and now the moment of truth. I'll stick a lever on there. Assuming I did this correctly, they close. So as you can see, normally you would have this layer filled in, so you won't see that. And most likely you'll also go down to at least here or here, so you won't see those either. And you definitely won't see this, you have to make sure you cover this up if you do decide to use it in a castle. And then to make it go back up, you just flick the lever like, again. And... We did something wrong. No. All right. Um. I'm not sure what happened. Ah, oh, found it. Okay, I'm so sorry. I'm rushing through this because I don't want to make this video too long. I completely forgot to put that repeater there. And that just goes on the first tick. So now, now, now it'll work. So I just have to reset it. So that it would have just now put it down. And then we push that again. Now it, the pistons push the gravel up, which pushes all of these up. And then the gravel falls back down. So, yeah, I guess that's about it for this video. Um, oh, yeah, I want to show you the different levers. So, like, you basically just connect the redstone. Like, you can just kind of bring the redstone up and then have as many different ways to connect this as you want. So, like, you can put... One there, one there. So maybe you want this one to close it. It's closed. And then you have to obviously put, use the same one again to open it back up. Or you can eventually put in like a T flip flop here. And if you watch one of my other videos, which I'll show you, which I will include a link at the end to that one, you can watch that. And then it allows you to connect basically as many as you want. And it'll still operate as if it's like a button. So yeah, I guess that's about it for this video. Um, like, subscribe, watch my other videos, and thanks guys!